Hi second graders, today we're going to be learning about Thurgood Marshall. He's one of the famous Americans that we learn about in second grade. And this book was written by Luke Collins um, and it was published by Capstone Press. So while we're reading, I want you to think about why Thurgood Marshall is important. What did he do to make him an important American? Meet Thurgood. Thurgood Marshall was the first African-American justice on the U.S. Supreme Court. He was also a lawyer. He fought for equal rights for all people. This is a picture of him. Young Thurgood. Thurgood was born July 2nd, 1908 in Maryland. Segregation was legal when Thurgood was growing up. He went to a school for only black children. Thurgood saw that African-Americans were not treated the same as whites. And this is a picture of a group of African-American students in Maryland in the 1930s. Thurgood graduated from Lincoln University in 1930. He applied to law school at the University of Maryland. Thurgood was turned down because he was not white. He attended Howard University instead. Both blacks and whites went to Howard. Thurgood graduated first in his class in 1933. He started his own law practice in Baltimore. In 1935, he won an important court case. He sued the University of Maryland for not allowing an African-American student to attend. So this is a picture of Thurgood and his client, Donald Murray. As an adult, Thurgood worked on equal rights cases. In 1934, Thurgood began working for the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, the NAACP. He wanted to help defend the rights of African Americans. Okay, so this is Thurgood in Washington, D.C. In 1938, Thurgood became a full-time lawyer for the NAACP. Some of his cases went to the U.S. Supreme Court. Thurgood won 29 out of 32 cases that went through the Supreme Court. So here is Thurgood with, he's right here, with some other, so he's here, and these are some other lawyers that he worked with. Later years, Thurgood was awarded the Springarn Medal in 1946. This award is given each year to an outstanding African American. In 1954, he won the case Brown v. Board of Education. The, this decision made school segregation illegal. So after that decision, it was no longer legal to divide schools and separate schools based on people's skin colors. And so this is a picture of him after he won that case. In 1967, President Lyndon Johnson named Thurgood to the Supreme Court. Thurgood became the first African-American Supreme Court Justice. Thurgood fought for the rights of American Indians, women, and the poor. So here he is with the other Supreme Court Justices in 1967. Thurgood was a U.S. Supreme Court Justice for 24 years. His decisions helped protect the rights of everyone. Thurgood retired in 1991. He died in 1993 at the age of 84. People remember him as a great lawyer and a great justice. And this is him with his wife and children in 1961. And that is all. So I hope you, learned, you enjoyed learning about Thurgood Marshall.